Hi guys, welcome to Dressing Tammy. I am Tammy and today is all about Mega Haul. And I scored big time. I went to my mom's not so new shop on Saturday and I wasn't expecting to come home with what I came home with, honestly. I figured I might grab a couple of um, pieces of fabric to make something with, maybe a pattern or two, because I pretty much got them all the last time I was there because nobody sews, apparently, um, in her town. But um, I want to start with a few of the um, not sewing-related things that I picked up. And the first one, first two, I should say, because they're by the same company, are these gorgeous leather crock embossed, I believe the company is Trotters, right there. I got these black ones. I want you to see there is not a scuff anywhere on these shoes. There's the bottom. They haven't even, they don't even look like they've even been worn. Um, here are the brown ones I got. Again, leather ones, and they are by Trotters. You can see it in there. Um, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. So, I am beyond thrilled with these shoes. Uh, I picked these up for $10 a pair. When I got home, I did research, as I always do, and if you go to trotters.com, you can find those shoes for about, I think they run anywhere between $129 to $139.99 a pair, so go me. The third pair of shoes that I got are these. These are black wedge leather Clark's shoes. Yeah, I can't even, can't even believe it if you can see in there or not. The Clark's label. I don't know if it's coming across. These, $7. I got these for $7. I am, yes, and a wedge. I'm so thrilled to have a wedge shoe. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else is, but I just think that my, my pants would fall better on my body. Give me more leg length, too. So, yeah, $7. Okay, now into sewing related. I did pick up two things of fabric. The first one is this one right here. It's probably, I would think maybe a yard and a half or two yards of this. And it's got just a tiny bit of stretch. Let me grab the selvage. And it looks like somebody was taking <laughs> samples of it. But it doesn't have a whole lot, you can see. Um, but I thought with a yard and a half, almost two yards, I thought this would make a really nice skirt. So it's neutral color. I can wear it with black. I can wear it with brown. So I just thought it would be really pretty. So that is fabric number one. Fabric number two, there's four yards of this one. And this one's kind of like suiting. Um, let's see if I can find me an end here. Here we go. This is the back side of it. It's coming across a little purple, looks like here. Um, and then if I, if I can get the pattern up, you can almost see a slight, well, there you definitely can with that big dot there. But there's a, um, looks like a blue and red kind of threading running through here. You can pick that up. And again, four yards. I was thinking pair of pants or a skirt, but um, as I was coming home from work this afternoon, I was thinking about these boots and this fabric, well, this fabric with, uh, let me know what you think, a pair of leggings that just kind of skimmed right across with a black turtleneck and kind of a pinafore dress over it, but something more men's suitish type pinafore kind of like a, would give you kind of a vest skirt look, but just all be, would just be one piece, kind of a very deep V vest look with buttons. I don't know what the name of that, double breasted? Is that what I'm trying to think of? Double breasted? If I can find a picture of something, I'll stick it in here and to give you an idea of what I'm thinking. But I thought that would be a kind of a really cute little winter outfit. Um, so yeah. All right, so that's the fabric. Now, the patterns that I'm going to share with you 
are not all of the patterns that I picked up. I'm only going to share with you the ones that I think I can make for myself now. There is a whole other bag, like a half a bag, because I, I, this bag was huge. It was like one of those brown shopping bags. Packed. It was packed. So these are like half of those. And again, these are the ones I think I can make currently with my body shape. Um, and also, some of them come in these plastic like um, freezer bags because the woman who had these apparently sewed a lot. There's notes on these. There are measurements of her body on these. So it's, I haven't gone through them. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have not gone through these to see if all of the pieces are here to these things yet, but there are some in here that have never even been used. So let's get started, okay? The first one is Butterick 4367. Uh, and this is an, a 1990s style dress. And I just think it's really pretty. I love it. Love it. I thought that this skirt, um, and there's several that you will be seeing here, um, would be a good, like, I could use that for my Drendel dress. I don't think a Drendel has a full circle skirt. And boy, am I, is my camera just, hang on, let me see if I can get more more me and less room. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> so there we are. Um, yeah, I just like it. I just, I think that would make a really cute drindle skirt. And since my goal for November is to make a drindle for our Black Friday sale, because again, I don't do anything, but just stay in there and look cute. So I thought, why not just make like a little holiday drindle? That'd be so sweet. Anywho, all right, the next one. This is going back to the last 1970s patterns haul that we did. This was one of the ones that I picked up. This one's kind of a cute 70s. This one right here, if I can get my angle right. I love the waist detail on this one. And this one is a McCall's 4481. 19, I believe this is 1975, this one here. Very cute. I think it's very cute. All right, the next one is Simplicity 8487. Really cute little pajamas. I really like them. I really like them. There you go. I like them. They're just really cute. I would probably wear this one more, even though some days I do slot around in some pants, as we'll see in our makes video on Friday. And this one here. Now, um, going back to this skirt right here for a drindle, I thought this, I can zoom in really close, this shirt part of that, and maybe you can even shorten the whole thing, and I don't know, I don't know, but I was thinking that this right here in white with some lace detail would be a really cute way to get the undershirt of the drindle, so... I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't like the cold shoulder. I don't look good in cold shoulder. Uh, I just don't. So I'm not, I'm not interested in that. The blue one's really cute though too right here. That blue one's cute. I just think it's cute. It's just a cute little dress. Now this one here is, I almost picked up a cheap $2.50 fleece blanket from Walmart while I was picking up cat food tonight and made this one. I just think that's gorgeous. Again, this is one that she's got in her bag. She's obviously made this. I'm gonna assume because she's taken the time to put them in this freezer bag that all the pieces are there, but I have not gone through them just yet. But I just think this little bolero cape is gorgeous. There's some detail of it right here. I just think it's really cute. I love that buffalo check too. I just that might be made this winter so keep let's keep eyes on that next is uh McCall. did i even tell you what that one was i don't know this one is mccall's 5479 this one is mccall's 5006 again it's the same thing if i'm if i'm just holding up this little piece of paper that means that it comes from a hefty bag and then this is a cute little topper kind of like a tank top topper set i would say just really cute um 
I like all of them. I kind of like all of them. I kind of like this one too. Kind of give you an empire waist kind of a look. So I just think I just think that's really cute. This one is Simplicity 9812. I think this one is a Kathy Lee Gifford one. I don't know. I, I don't like that one for, for sure. But the red one, I think, has potential for me. I'm, I'm liking this one, but I'm not 100% sold on the collar on that one. But you never know. But... Yeah, Kathy Lee Gifford, Simplicity 9812. And then we've got a Butterick, a 3601. And this is one where you can see where she's written her little notes on there. But I like this one too. I like the detail on the bodice. And um, as we get into Blair Warner Wednesday, I know that in, I think it was like season, season four? maybe season three, season four, she started wearing a lot of silkier blouses with a lot of pin tucking. And so I thought that would be really helpful on how they laid the pattern out and um, how I could achieve the same pin tucking. There we go. as some of the blouses that she wore. So there we go. All right. This one is Simplicity 9829. This one ticks all my boxes too. I, I, I just think that that's a dress for my body. That's just the kind of dresses that I like to quickly put on, go to work. So yeah, I like this one, a lot of it. This one also, the skirt would really work. That one, I think it looks really cute. I think that would look really cute with for a drindle, just a little apron over it. So got a lot of potential here for skirts. I just have to figure out what kind of look I want to go for. I kind of know what I want for the top, for the vest part, but I don't know if I want to match the skirt or if I just want to go with a different color skirt altogether. We'll see. All right, we're getting near the end, okay? All righty. Pull them out. All right, this one is Butterick 3141. And this one she must have really made, or she made it for somebody else. I'm not sure. But it's a really cute little outfit, isn't it? I just think it's really cute for some reason. Uh, but I just think it's adorable. I love the skirt. I like it. I like I like all of the fabric choices. I like the color. I like everything about this pattern. So I'm hoping all the pieces are there. This is one I believe um, she has done a lot of her own adjustments to so it might be one that we have to really lay out match up and trace uh, to get a working pattern for me um, here we go this one is McCall's 5042 just a really cute little summer dress I have many a dress in my closet right now that are similar to this I love this orange one love it yes very cute and again, I'm assuming that all the pieces are here for the way she's kept them. All right, this one, um, let me see, another, another little simple summer one. This one is McCall's 5041. Now, I love this one right here. That one right there, I love that waist detail. I love everything about this. But what I was thinking, wouldn't this make a really cute, like, dress sloper? I think it would. I think you could probably get a good dress sloper out of this pattern. I don't know. And then and on the back of it, I've got tucked in here, and I'm going to have to leave it in the, in the little bag so you could kind of see it. It's a McCall pattern, 8431, and I'm not sure exactly what year this was, but the pattern is in here for this coat. It's like a 1950s style, I'm guessing. But, I mean, she kept it. She kept all of this part right here is ripped from that part. But she kept all of it. But that's just a gorgeous coat. Um, the pattern is in here. And so I'll, I will be taking a few minutes one day and going through to see if all of the pieces are there as well. Because I just love that coat. 
All right, now the last two that I have are pattern types that I've never seen before, and I've never seen anybody post them before. And this one is a stretch and sew, 1992, and it, it is a uh, ladies and girls baseball jackets. I think that's really, really cute. Just for a nice, simple jacket, really cute. So, get a little bit of line drawing on it. Let's see if we can pull it in there. Like that. Yeah. Very cute. Never, never, apparently, I mean, there's the envelope part. There is the name. I don't know if you can get it on there. But just really cute, simple, easy everyday kind of going somewhere jacket so and then the very last one something I don't know if I'd ever make but I just thought it was cute I'm not taking it out is a it looks to me to be like a square dancing dress I could be wrong but that's the first thing I thought of now the bodice I think is adorable I don't know if I could pull off that skirt but that bodice is gorgeous so and this one is a just authentic patterns ink number 275 it's in a size 6 8 and 10 i'm not there yet but uh maybe one day so but that's it um i'm gonna put a little bit of footage at the end if you would like to see my drive in to see my mom it's a gorgeous gorgeous place and um it's just really pretty drive. It's 40 minutes from where I live, so I don't drive it as often as I should because it is in the middle of the Shawnee National Forest and it is deer heaven. And especially right now, as we're in November, it's, I mean, you've got to have 18 eyes just to watch for deer running out in the middle of the street. So um, I try to go really early and get home before it starts getting dark because yeah you you risk really having an accident with those deer so that's it i'm gonna leave you with the footage and i will see you guys on friday okay have a great night and have a great week and thank you very much for subscribing commenting and all the stuff that you do i really do appreciate it and mm, virtual hug from me to you we'll see you on friday bye